Hello there! Cropping your videos is a really important aspect of video editing. It can be hard to understand at first, but it's actually super simple. Now, before we start, I wanted to let you know that I created a complete beginner's course where you can learn how to edit videos with DaVinci Resolve. You can find the link to that down below. So, we're right here in the edit page. First, let's drag in some videos in the media pool to work with. Okay, so drag them in the timeline and there you go. Oh, let me delete the audio real quick. There are actually two ways you can crop videos in Resolve. Let me show you the first one. So let's say I have these three clips of some cool buildings and I want to create a split screen to show them all at the same time. This means we need to crop out what we want to show from each clip and then let them play simultaneously. First, place each clip on a different track so they overlap each other. Make sure they're all the same length. Now we want to start by cropping just one clip, the Eiffel Tower for example. Let's hide the other two for a moment by clicking the Disable Video Track button. Now let me zoom in a little. To crop out the tower, make sure the clip is selected and head over to the top right and open up the inspector if it isn't open already. And here you'll find some properties like transform, cropping and so on. You can fold them by clicking them, but for now we only need the cropping properties. So it's actually very simple. You have these four sliders in here left, right, top and bottom. If you click and drag them, you will see the sides of your video being cut off. So what you want to do is kind of create a box around the Eiffel Tower like this. Great! Now I want the Eiffel Tower to be at the left side of my video and to do that, head over to the transform properties and adjust the X position property. There you go! Now real quick, in the cropping tab you'll see the option retain image position. If you check this, you will see that your clips jumps to the middle. That's because now now the position property will ignore the crop. As you can see, when you adjust the position now, you'll see that the crop will stay at the same position, but the video inside it will move. So let's disable that again. We don't need that today, but now you know it exists and where to find it. Oh, and with the softness slider, you can create a feather around the edges of your crop. So that can be useful too. Alright, next we're gonna learn a second way to crop your video. Now I know that DaVinci Resolve can be difficult to learn, especially when you're opening it up for the first time. That's exactly why I created the DaVinci Resolve 20 Beginners course. For you, you will learn everything you need to know to become a professional video editor in just two and a half hours. After taking this course, you will be confidently making videos. You'll learn how to use all the pages in DaVinci Resolve, create cool effects, transitions and so much more. By the end of this course, your videos will look professional. And yes, you can follow along perfectly fine with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Plus, of course, you can download all my project files and edit with me click by click. The first 50 people using the code FIRST will get 50% off. So go check out the first link in the description down below to get started with video editing right away. Alright, now let's move on to the second way of cropping your videos. Let's hide the Eiffel Tower for a moment and enable the second clip again. Make sure the clip is selected and head over to the Timeline Viewer. In here, click the drop down menu next to the transform icon right here. Then choose the crop feature. As you can see, these crop lines will appear and now you can just drag them to crop your image. So let's create a box around the statue and there you go. Of course, I want to be able to drag the cropped clip around to place it wherever I want. But if I now move this box around, only the position of the crop will change. To fix this, go back to the drop down menu on the bottom and select transform. Now in the viewer, you can click and drag your clip around and place it where you want. If you want, you can also scale it up or down by clicking and dragging these points in the corners. If you click and drag the points from the sides, you will adjust the zoom of the X and Y axis separately. And that means your video will be stretched. However, if you hold down shift while doing this, you can also use the side points to scale your video the same way. Let's enable the Eiffel Tower clip again and place it right next to it. Now do the exact same thing for the Big Ben clip and make a box around it by cropping it and position it on the right side of the frame. There you go! You now are a master of cropping and reframing your videos in DaVinci Resolve. But that's not all, you still need to learn these 20 shortcuts that transform you into a powerful video editor right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching!